Hi, dear friends, this is Elena. Today I invite you to paint with me interesting illustration. It will be a hummingbird uh, with a little bit of watercolor style flowers around. We will use several techniques uh, in this painting. In general, the uh, design is very uh, simple. Uh, but it will require a little bit of uh, control when using uh, water and uh, paint ratio in order to safeguard your work from color bleeding. On the way, I'll be giving you some tips and explanations about the painting process, so it would be also easy for you to um, repeat or just uh, paint along with me. For this project, I took a 100% uh, cotton uh, t-shirt. This is a soft cotton, it's slightly stretchy. And the t-shirt is for a four-year-old kid. Now a few words about the uh, painting method that I will be using today. In general, um, it's the wet acrylic technique, which somewhat resembles a watercoloring on paper. Uh, however, there are significant differences in the application method since uh, we are using fabric. Now, if I've already gotten you interested, uh, please pause for a moment and uh, hit the like button to support my art and bring you more of such uh, free and descriptive videos for our shared creative journey. So let's begin. I started the illustration by creating a quick sketch of uh, a little hanging flowers and the hummingbird itself. I did it uh, using a disappearing textile marker of purple color, uh, which is really a great tool to create a quick sketch on fabric without being afraid of uh, tracing marks uh, after the painting is done. The case is that the disappearing fabric marker uh, goes away on its own uh, in two to three days or if you want to quickly remove at any point uh, you can just uh, make it wet and it will be gone within a few seconds I continue with painting starting from the corner of a t-shirt by uh, uh, using the wet brush to uh, slightly dampen the fabric uh, because I want to achieve some uh, watercolor uh, effect uh, when I'll be making the flowers. Uh, I am not uh, trying to create some uh, absolute and uh, visual form of uh, flowers. They will be uh, sort of like impressions, uh, colorful spots with just a little bit of detailing uh, because the uh, main focus in my work will be on hummingbird. For this kind of technique, uh, which requires to dilute your fabric paint with water, uh, it's good to use uh, some good fabric paint with uh, rather strong pigmentation, uh, because water uh, does reduce the opacity and brightness of uh, any paint, obviously, so uh, just make sure that uh, your paints for such type of work are of uh, nice quality. Uh, in my case, uh, right now I'm using uh, Monmart fabric paint. It's an Australian brand. I have recently uh, tested it. This is my uh, first painting with uh, this fabric paint. I haven't seen uh, many reviews of this uh, brand uh, for fabric. Uh, that's why I decided to just uh, give it a go and try it on my own. But so far I already observed that the uh, fabric paint is uh, really well pigmented and based on my uh, test drive, or you can say the crush test for fabric paints, which I always do for any new uh, paint that I'm testing, the result of painted uh, clothing is uh, soft, which is exactly what we need when painting on a gentle and soft cotton t-shirt for a child. After the uh, primary layer of colors for flowers uh, is done, I leave it to dry and uh, naturally mix them on each other. Uh, now I'm going to switch to my major character in this painting, the hummingbird. I pick up uh, the first color for the bird 
it's cerulean blue from the paint set uh, and uh, slightly diluting it with water you can see uh, that i am just dipping the brush in the water and bringing back a little bit on the bristle into the um, paint on the palette next by looking at uh, photo reference i will uh, fill in the areas uh, of the of the body of the bird uh, with this blue color uh, in general my idea right now is that I need to uh, fill in the fibers of uh, the fabric uh, with the color it can be rather diluted but the main thing that the whole area will be covered uh, and because we don't want some uh, white spots after the t-shirt is worn to come up uh, in the middle of our illustration my next task is to uh, mix up a, a rather natural shade um, which will be uh, something like a burnt amber uh, with which i'm going to uh, shade the wings of a bird it will uh, allow it to look um, somewhat more realistic uh, this is already the uh, stage where uh, it's really necessary to be slightly careful with a uh, water paint ratio because right now uh, just like in uh, water coloring uh, we are creating only an underlying uh, motif you could say uh, which only later will be uh, specified with the details uh, however not to make this um, initial layer to messy and uh, completely uh, spreading around uh, outside the borders uh, we should be careful and watch out for color bleeding uh, this is one of my uh, favorite techniques in general to uh, paint on uh, light fabrics uh, um, light I mean uh, light by color and by texture uh, why because on uh, t-shirts like this uh, like those which are uh, somewhat transparent uh, painting in the classic fabric painting technique uh, basically like you know in layers one layer after another especially with opaque paint uh, it's I wouldn't call it a really good idea because uh, eventually even with the uh, high quality fabric paint the design might be uh, somewhat heavy and um, not that pleasant to touch or to the body when wearing while when uh, painting in this technique which i am demonstrating to you right now uh, you're really uh, saving yourself the uh, chance to add uh, more layers to create a brighter picture uh, but also to uh, make sure that the painting will be uh, almost completely weightless um, basically it might feel just like there is nothing uh, painted on the fabric at all meanwhile I keep uh, placing the uh, more natural natural colors uh, all around the uh, feathers of my bird uh, you can see that the uh, second wing which is behind is darker later I'm going to add more more of bright colors because eventually this is um, a t-shirt for a kid so it should be vivid it should be uh, bright interesting and uh, attractive to the eye i'll leave you to observe the process for the next uh, two to three minutes i will be uh, given more of a uh, definition and color intensity to this birdie it will be in front of your eyes that uh, you, will be, you will see how this colorful and blurry spot is turning into really beautiful and naturally looking hummingbird. Then in a short while I'll also comment on uh, how to do and how I do these um, proper highlights uh, on this painting uh, in this particular technique then there will be uh, the most fun process of creating the um, splatters and uh, some colorful bleeding spots which will resemble the flowers and um, just uh, the watercolor style background around the bird and the flowers 
and by the end of this painting I'm going to hit fix it and show you how I do this in order to uh, safeguard the painting for many um, months and I'd say even years of wearing and doing the safe laundry of hand painted clothing. At this point I start adding the highlights with uh, loose white paint. Uh, first I begin with the uh, wing. In just a few moments you'll be able to see how thanks to uh, these highlights and detailing the bird will get absolutely defined shape and all the blurriness of the initial layer will become defined and clear and really pretty. So I guess um, the main advice for those who would also like to try this technique uh, on fabric like uh, first creating the watercolor shape I'd say and then uh, defining it with uh, more um, specific strokes is to just um, like give it time and not to judge your painting too soon because uh, indeed uh, it's really different like um, it's really different from the way you paint on um, paper uh, in this style because uh, there is no mess on the paper when you paint in watercolor you uh, like since the beginning uh, you create shapes which already uh, resemble something uh, but in fabric there is always uh, a little bit of a allowance to uh, color bleeding meaning on that uh, you see initially my bird was not as defined even in its body like uh, the color went uh, across my uh, intended line a little bit and uh, this is something to keep in mind when you paint uh, in this technique on fabric uh, always also need to think of course how much uh, of water is on your br uh, brushes bristles because that will actually be uh, can be the reason of the color bleed so keep this in mind and uh, give yourself some time to define and give details to your painting because in the end it will look absolutely different and now as you can see I covered my bird with the paper and started splattering it means that um, the major part of my work is done and the fun begins when i look at this design of the bird the hummingbird with its super speedy uh, strokes of the wings uh, it uh, gives me an impression that all around uh, due to its speed and uh, joy and uh, in general the brightness of this bird um, it calls for some blurry and really bright background and um, since this is a t-shirt for a child I really want to make it um, colorful and really uh, joyful so this is my vision of this painting uh, anyone everyone can uh, arrange it and uh, detail it in their preferred way of course you can even choose the different colors of the background you can maybe pick some uh, purple and pink colors let your project be the fruit of your imagination while I move on to the uh, last part which is very important thing to do whenever you are done with your hand, uh, hand painting on clothes when your clothes are dry and it usually takes of around three to four hours uh, you can safely iron it through a cotton sheet uh, do it really uh, slowly but properly 
And on this note, my painting is done. Uh, the project is completed. It's going to be worn with pleasure with, by my kid, and uh, I'm sure it's going to last long. I believe in this fabric paint, but I'll be also happy to update you um, after some time on how it's doing. Uh, you are also welcome to uh, tag your projects if you will choose to paint uh, after me or any other birds in this manner whatsoever. Uh, you can uh, do that. I'll be happy to see and support you. Uh, thanks for being with me today. Goodbye.